Hello and welcome to another episode of Amputee Outdoors. I'm your host, Glenn, and today we're going to be reviewing another Laszlo Outfitters product. Now, I did do a review of this beauty here, the Laszlo sleeping pad. Put this into my sleeping bag in my hammock and really, really happy. Works really well, kept me warm, and it was comfortable, it was easy to use. It's light and it packs down to a small, bowl, small little bowl like this. This is practically an ultralighter option here and I'm very, very happy with it so far. And it's uh, pretty much my go-to mat for uh, hammocking. And Laszlo said, you know what, Glenn, we also have a couple of other items we would like you to check out, give a review for, and tell us what you think. But, hey, sure, that sounds great. What have you got? Well, we've got a cot. A cot. Now, we're not talking just any tiny little, like, cot. No, no, no. We're talking a cot. Let me fill the screen with that cot there. Look at that. It's huge. This is not a camping, backpacking, hiking kind of cot. This is a car camping cot. Okay, I just want to make sure that's absolutely clear to everybody. If you haven't already noticed yourself, this is a car camping cot. Okay. Now, I have not used this yet. Tonight will be the first time, and actually, it will be the first time I'm going to sleep in a tent in two years, I think. I think something like that, because um, as you know, I prefer my hammocks. But I'm going to get this out, get it into that tent, set it up in the tent, and spend the night in it. And I'm going to be going, giving a review on five different categories, okay? Setup, ease of setup, functionality, does it do what it's supposed to do? Um, comfort, is it comfortable to use? Is it comfortable to sleep in? And then quality of materials, okay? And then craftsmanship, all right? So five elements that I will be judging this on. One thing that I do want to point out right off the bat regarding quality of materials. It's not regarding the cot itself, because I haven't even got to that yet. I'm just talking about the bag it comes in. The cord lock that cinches this end up broke. I just pulled it tight and it broke in my hands. One part went off one place, another part fell off in my hands. That little piece is all that remains of it. So, that's something to keep in mind is that the bag itself, perhaps not the sturdiest bag, and this seam up at the top here is also ripping a little bit already. And um, I've not even really got this out of the, out of the bag yet. All right, let me get my tent uh, situated here and then I'll bring this in and we'll see how we do. this set up, shall we? Uh, first thing I'll point out to you guys here is this is a heavy duty frame. This is, yeah, this is pretty heavy duty. The material looks really good too. Um, very thick, kind of nylon ripstop kind of pattern in it as well. That's good. Nice grippy feet. Buckle to undo it. And you know what's really nice? Let me show so you can see. It comes with instructions on how to set it up attached to the cot itself. So I will do what I don't frequently do, I will read the instructions. I know there are some of you guys out there right now saying, Glenn, real men don't read instructions. They don't read the manual. What are you doing? This is a review, special case. All right, untie the strap, pull out both ends of the cot, press middle position with hands. Keep pressing, make it flatten. And then to uh, undo it or to fold it back up, Press this point of the cot while left end of the bed. Fold the camping cot. Tie up with the rope. So this doesn't come from America. This comes from China. So the translation from um, one language to another is not always as fluent and as eloquent as it could be. However, they are understandable and the pictures are very, very understandable. 
I'm beginning to wonder if this is even going to fit in this four-person tent. This is a four-person tent that I've got here. And this is looking pretty big. Let's see here. Okay. Well, setup is very simple. That's it. Done. Set up. And, um, yeah, it's, it's taking up a lot of the tent. I think this is going to be a two-person tent with this thing in it. Maybe one another one of these next to each other and then all your stuff underneath the uh, cot here. Not a bad idea. All right. Let me position this here. Nice and leveled out. Flattened. Good. Got a little pouch here to put stuff in, like your phone, your um, glasses, your watch, um, light, what have you. Let's see. Fuels. All right. Oh, oh hey. I mean, it's, it's not a hammock, which is the ultimate in comfort. But this isn't bad. No, I like this. And what's really nice is the head up here is kind of tilted up. So it's kind of like a pillow. All right. I'm going to get my uh, kit set up to spend the night here and then um, spend the night and give you a review in the morning, which will include folding it all up and putting everything away because that's part of it as well. All right, so I'm about to turn in and uh, getting late. And one thing about this uh, this cot that's different from other cots that I've had in the past. I still have one cot. Um, I don't even use it anymore, you know, aside from the fact that I normally use hammocks. Every cot I've ever had had this one particular problem. If you sat on the edge of the of the cot, the cot kind of tilted and, and like tipped forward. This one doesn't do that. I'm sitting right on the edge and it's not tilting forward. It's very, very stable. I like that. That's pretty good. This is an incredibly sturdy cot. Um, whether it's comfortable or not, well, I'm gonna find out. See you in the morning. Alright, so the final test for the Lazo caught is the putting it away back into the bag in which it came. Just breaking it down and uh, how easy that is to do and how, uh, how well it does the, the job of doing what it's supposed to do. All right. So the, uh, my uh, wool blanket and my sleeping bag, I'll get to those later. For now, I'm just going to put those off to the side over there. And my Reliable reflectix. Same thing. I'll just put that aside. And this is the bag it's supposed to go back into. I think it will. It's just a matter of getting this taken uh, down and put into its compact form. And it actually has instructions. And once again, I will read the instructions. Um, press this point of the cart while lift end of bed. So that's that end, and I'm supposed to lift the end of the bed as I do it. Okay. 
Says press this while it's lifting that. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. That was pretty darn easy. And then it's got a strap here somewhere. Ah, there it is. A strap right here, which in the instructions they call a rope. But never mind, it's a strap. It's the idea. They got the idea across. That's what counts. Yeah, let's buckle that in. Snug that down, and that's it. All right. Let's uh, make sure we end up with the uh, feet at that end. cinch this up with a cord lock, but the cord lock broke. And that's it. Back in. Alright, I'm fairly satisfied with this as a cot. Not normally a cot user, but if I go car camping and I have to pull out the tent because there's no trees, um, I'm probably going to use this because even on you know those campsites that you go to where it's well established, the, the ground is never really that great. Um, but I will make sure to use this with the uh, Lazo uh, air pad or some other kind of pad underneath to give me a little bit more cushion. Um, I'll bring a pillow as well um, because just it was that, that, that end kind of tilts up, which is nice, but it's not the same as a pillow. It doesn't support your head when you're uh, laying sideways. Okay, I'm going to go through the scores and I'll put the scores at the end of this video. And uh, as always, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about cots or other sleeping arrangements like this, put them down in the comments section. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be in one of these corners down there below there. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. That's good. Thank you. And uh, I hope to see you out enjoying a good night's sleep out in the woods and enjoying nature during the day. Maybe join the nature at nighttime too when all the uh, animals are making noises. See you out there. <laughs>